Welcome to the first episode of a five-part series where we're going to be talking about the songs on Mystic Humanism and breaking down what went into them both musically and lyrically. Today we're going to be talking about the first two songs in the album, Inundated and South End Kids. I'm inundated, got too much to do. Inundated is kind of a song just about being busy all the time and sort of this like feeling we have where you always need to feel productive, like you're doing something productive with your time. And I think that's kind of one of those things that's sort of just like been kind of bred into society through like capitalism or something where it's like if you're sitting down and not doing anything and sort of wasting your time per se, that you're not being productive, you're not using your time wisely. And see so there's always this need to sort of like feel like you're always being productive and creating something and doing something. And I think we need to sort of like, you know, be able to take a step back from that and sometimes just sit around and smell the flowers, you know, like you ask any musician or any artist and like, the time when you feel inspired and the time when you get that inspiration to write a song or create a painting or whatever is those times when you're not doing anything. And I think it's really important to have those times because you're definitely not inspired by the hustle bustle of every day. And so the song is kind of about that. It's sort of about like always feeling busy and just never having time for anything else, never having the time to do the things you want to do, like just play music. As an independent musician who's self-managed, I'm always like doing the business side of things too and I have so much work to do with that and it's like I feel like I don't have the time anymore to like sit down and just like play a song or write a new song. Musically the song is meant to sort of feel a little chaotic as well like it's kind of meant to have that sort of feel of being busy and uh, I want to bring the horns into it because I was inspired by a song by My Morning Jacket called Easy Morning Rebel. It's sort of this rock song that has like some, some horn accent stuff going on. And so I was like, that's a cool idea. So I was like, I'm gonna kinda do that in this song and bring in some horns and sort of have them accent on the chorus and stuff and play solos and whatnot. And I, I thought I'd just sort of like liven up a bit and I think it, uh, it kinda worked, you know? It sort of brings the song to life a bit more. And free, free. South and kids, tourists in these parts. South this is a song about a time when I lived in Osborne Village, which is like a hip neighborhood here in Winnipeg. And uh, on the weekend, all the kids from the suburbs in the south end of the city, they'd come up to Osborne Village and they'd go shop at all the cool stores or they'd go hang out at all the cool bars. They would drink with all the cool people. They'd watch all the cool bands. And they'd think that, you know, they're cool as well. But, you know, we knew as people who lived in Osborne Village that, like, they weren't really that cool. They're kind of just posers, or we like to call them tourists because they'd sort of just show up for a brief period of time and then leave. Um, of course, the, the bit of the irony here in, in all of this is that I grew up in St. Mattel, which is one of those South End suburbs, so I did the exact same thing when I was 18. I would go to the village on the weekends and then go back to the suburbs, so it's sort of, it's kind of a song, I guess, about those, like, South End kids when I was living in the village, but maybe also a bit about myself as well. And this song, musically, is sort of, I don't really know where the inspiration for it came from. I think it's one of the, actually, the oldest song, it might be the oldest song on this album. It was written before Tragic Nostalgia even came out. And I'm not really sure where the inspiration, I think a lot of it came from, I was listening to like a lot of Royal Canoe at the time, and their music's got like a lot of these like weird little percussive things going on in the background. So I think that's where a lot of it came from. Just this sort of like driving keyboard that kind of just is going with the steady sort of quarter notes the whole way through, and then a lot of like little weird percussive and synthesizer things kind of building as the song goes on. And then the big ending, like that, that whole long ending was actually meant to be a fade out. And then as we were recording it, we are listening to playback, and like, we just kind of liked how it sort of cut off hard at the ending instead of fading out. It was like, okay, well, like that's kind of cool. Like maybe we should just stick with this and go with that. And this was one of the songs where like we had a lot of debates on what the snare sound should be. Mike, the drummer, really likes a snappy sort of snare, but I wanted something like fuller and thicker. And so we had a lot of debate on what the sound should be and sort of what to do. And I, I can't remember we finally settled on. We experimented with stuff like putting an upside down drum skin on top of the snare and then like taping Mike's wallet, I think, to the snare at one point and then a towel like. It got, it got pretty convoluted, and we eventually found a snare sound we liked, and I think it, it turned out great. Thanks for joining me. That's the end of the first episode. If you like this, please hit like and subscribe. There's going to be another episode coming real soon, so stay tuned for that. All right, we'll see you in the next one.